happy crossages today in this video i am going to tell you how to crochet this cute beautiful baby girl rompo this rompo is for 0 to 6 months baby that i'll be crocheting for this tutorial for other details please to check the description box this rompo is the part of the baby rompo set that includes this baby rompo and the baby cap the video tutorial for the baby cap has already been uploaded in my channel please to check or check the description box for the link of how to crochet the cape for this baby rompo set so let's get started to begin with the white yarn you need to chain 52 so here i have 52 chains so you can choose your own color combination okay so once you have made 52 chains with white yarn now i'm going to work in the big bump of the chains so place one double crochet into the big bump of the very first chain so working from the very first chain was a double crochet into the very first big bump work one double crochet into a p big bump till the end of this row so now moving to the next stitch place a double crochet so obviously we are not working into the chains we are working into the big bump and again moving to the next stitch working into the big bump of the next chain place a double crochet now into the next place a double crochet here's a tip uh, if uh, your pattern says to walk into the big bump of the chains then make sure your chains are loose so that it will be easy for you to walk into the big bump if the chains are tight then it's not that easy to walk into the big bump then okay fine so this way keep on placing a uh, double crochet stitch into each and every big bump of the chains and in the end of the row you will have um, the same number of stitches that is 52 so here i am in the end of my row and i have only two more stitches left place the double crochet into the next stitch and place a double crochet into this very last stitch so now you have three loops on the row that obviously happens when placing a double crochet but i am saying because i have to change my color here so yarn over pull through two but don't complete your double crochet grab the next yarn or if you want to continue with the same yarn also you can continue with it but uh, i prefer making it this way so take this new yarn and complete your double crochet got the white one because we are no more using it for now tie a tight knot to secure our stitch for row 2 chain 1 turn your work place one double crochet into the same stitch Keep on placing one double crochet into each and every stitch till the end of the row. Here I am in the end of the row and here I am placing my last double crochet into this last stitch and you still have the same 52 number of stitches for row 3 chain 1 turn your work place 3 double crochet into the same stitch
place one double crochet into the next stitch so this is the pattern for the row of placing three double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next So continue with the pattern of placing 3 double crochet into the next and 1 double crochet into the next till the end of the row. So here I am in the end of my row and I have 2 more stitches left. So I am going to place 3 double crochet into the next stitch. And our row ends with 1 double crochet into the very last stitch. Now place a slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. For row 4, chain 1 and turn your work. Place one double crochet into this very first double crochet stitch. Now comes our set of 3 double crochet into the next stitch. In the center double crochet of this set, I am going to place a double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, chain 1, and one more double crochet all into the same stitch so two times double crochet chain one and one individual double crochet all into the same center double crochet of this set now skip the next stitch of this three double crochet uh, set and move to this individual double crochet stitch and place a double crochet into that stitch now comes the set of three double crochet into the center double crochet of the set place one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet all into the same stitch now move to this individual double crochet stitch after it comes after this three double crochet set and place a double crochet into that stitch so repeat this pattern of placing 2 times 1 double crochet chain 1 and 1 double crochet into the center double crochet of this 3 double crochet set and the double crochet into the individual double crochet stitch till the end of this round. So here I am in the end of the round. This round ends in working into the center stitch of the 3 double crochet set. Place a slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch. For row 5, chain 1, turn your work. So first falls this set of uh, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet. So place 5 double crochet into this center double crochet stitch of this set. Now place a double crochet into this individual double crochet stitch and then comes the set of this double crochet chain 1 place 5 double crochet into this center double crochet of the cell Place a double crochet into this individual double crochet stitch. So 
So keep on repeating this pattern of placing five double crochet into the center double crochet stitch of the cell and one double crochet into the individual double crochet stitch till the end of this round. So here I am in the end of this round and I am left with one more cell stitch and uh, individual double crochet. So I am going to place my five double crochet stitches into the center double crochet of the cell. And place a double crochet into this individual double crochet stitch. Place a slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch of the cell. For row 16, 1 and turn your work. Place one double crochet into this first double crochet stitch. Now move to the next five double crochet cell and find the center double crochet stitch that is always the third double crochet stitch of the cell so one two and three and into this center double crochet stitch place all the stolen stitches that's one double crochet chain one one double crochet and chain one one double crochet chain one one more double crochet chain one and one double crochet all into the same stitch now move to this individual double crochet stitch and place a double crochet into the individual double crochet stitch then comes the cell of five double crochet stitch find the center double crochet that's always the third double crochet of the cell and place the following stitches it is one double crochet chain one 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 and one double crochet all into the same stitches and one double crochet into the individual double crochet stitch so repeat this pattern till the end of this round of placing four times double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the center double crochet stitch of the cell and placing a double crochet into the individual double crochet stitch so here I am in the end of this round and placing my very last stitches into this last cell. So it's four times double crochet and chain one. So one I placed, it's two double crochet and chain one. Third time double crochet and chain one. Fourth double crochet and chain one and one more double crochet only all into the same stitch now place a slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch for row 7 chain 1 and turn your work so now I am going to place big post double crochet 2 together to place the big post double crochet 2 together yarn over so here's our first cell so I'm going to slip my hook from the big side around the post of this first double crochet of the cell and take it out the other side this way and pull off a loop So I have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over, do the same as we did for this post. So I am going to slip my hook from the back side of the post of the second double crochet stitch of the cell and take it out the other side like this and pull off a loop. I have four stitches on my hook now yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all the three loops on the hook and now I'm going to place back push double crochet in each of the next four stitches so three stitch of the same cell and one stitch is of the individual double crochet stitch so yarn over slip your hook 
from behind the post of the next double crochet stitch and pull off a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the remaining two loops yarn over slip your hook from behind the post of the next double crochet stitch and pull off a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so repeat it for two more times into this last double crochet stitch of the cell and this individual stitch so into the next placing our big post double crochet stitch and placing a big post double crochet stitch in the individual double crochet okay so this is one set that i made of placing a big post double crochet two together and placing one big post double crochet into each of the next four stitches so you have to repeat this for three more times so moving to the next cell place a big post double crochet two together as i said yarn over slip your hook from behind the post of the first double crochet stitch of the cell and pull off a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over slip your hook from behind the next double crochet stitch of the cell and pull off a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all the three loops on the hook now place one big push double crochet into each of the next four double crochet stitches So I place two times the set of uh, back post two, back post double crochet two together and one back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So I um, place this pattern for two times into in two cell what the same pattern for two more cells and then I'll show you what to do next. So here I placed my stitches into four cells and four individual double crochet stitches now i am going to skip five cells along with five double individual double crochet stitches so skip one cell and one double crochet two cell and two double crochet third cell and third double crochet fourth cell and fourth double crochet fifth cell and the fifth double crochet and now i am going to repeat the same pattern from the cell sixth cell for eight times okay so starting from this very first cell, I'm going to work my pattern for 8 cells. We formed the first armhole and I worked my pattern back into the first cell. Now repeat this the same pattern for seven more cells. So here I finished placing my stitches into eight cells after I created this armhole. And now I'm going to create the second armhole. So for the armhole, we skipped one, two, three, four, and five cells and five individual double crochet stitches so i'm going to do the exactly same thing for the second armhole so skip five cells and five individual double crochets so it's our first cell and first individual double crochet second third fourth and fifth now into the next i'm going to continue placing my stitches that is back push double crochet two together one back push double crochet into each of the next four stitches So 
so now repeat this pattern till the end so uh, it will be in total one two three and four thousand individual stitches till you reach the end so here i finished placing my last stitch into the last cell and one last into this individual double crochet stitch now slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch for row 8 chain 1 turn your work place a double crochet two together so to place it yarn over slip your hook into the next stitch pull off a loop yarn over pull so two yarn over slip your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull off a loop yarn over pull so two yarn over pull through all the three stitches place one double crochet into each of the next three stitches Place a double crochet together. And one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So keep on repeating this pattern till the end of this round of placing a double crochet together into the next stitches. And one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So here I am in the end of this round and I am going to place my very last double crochet stitch. Now place a slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. For row 9 to row 16 that makes 8 rounds in total you have to follow the same pattern the pattern is chain 1 turn your work place a double crochet into the next stitch place a double crochet into each and every stitch till the end And in the end you will have 64 stitches in total. Slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. So as I said before, this row pattern you have to repeat for 8 rounds. So this is one round that I made round 9. So like this 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Till row 16 repeat this round of lacing chain 1 and turning over work and placing one double crochet into the next and every stitch till the end of your round and in each round you will have 64 stitches in total so see you in the end of row 16 place a slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch fasten off as we finished off in the wrong side of our dress so this is the right side now left flat this is the stitch we I placed a slip stitch so leave the stitch and start counting from the very next stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So place a slip stitch into the 16th stitch. So this is one edge. Now starting from the very next stitch after the stitch marker stitch. Okay, I, I wanted to say that place a stitch marker here and I just told you that place a slip stitch. Sorry for that. So stitch marker here on the 16th stitch. So I hope you understood I skipped the very past stitch here I didn't count it where I just placed a slip stitch right 
so i'll skip the stitch and starting from the next stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 on the 16th stitch i place the stitch marker now skip right from the very next stitch here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 31 32 so on the 32nd stitch place a stitch marker and you have the two edges ready as you remember we finished the last row or the 16th row on the wrong side of the romper so the next row will be will be working on the right side so just choose any of the stitch marker stitch and join your yarn chain one place a double crochet together so to place the double crochet together yarn over slip your hook into the same stitch i hope it's clear so yarn over slip your hook into the same stitch pull off a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over slip your hook into the next stitch pull off a loop yarn over pull through two now you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops on the hook that's how we place a double crochet together now place one more double crochet together so into the next stitch yarn over pull through two and then into the next stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all the three so here i place two times double crochet together and make sure you are working over this yarn end to hide it keep on placing one double crochet each into the next stitches till you are left with four stitch in the end So here I have four more stitches left uh, before the stitch marker stitch here. So if you remember I started from here placing two sets of double crochet together right. So starting from this stitch marker stitch I place two sets of double crochet together and then kept on placing one double crochet into every stitch till I am left with four more stitches just before the next stitch marker stitch. So into this four stitches, I'm going to place two sets of double crochet together. So yarn over, slip your hook into the next stitch, pull off a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, slip your hook into the next stitch and pull off a loop, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through all the three loops on the hook. So there's one set and another set. So the pattern for this row is placing two sets of double crochet together and one double crochet into every stitch till you have four stitches left then placing another two sets of double crochet together so this is row 17 you have to repeat the same pattern till row 22 so for row 18 chain 1 turn your work place two sets of double crochet together it's one the second I'm going to place one double crochet into every stitch till four stitches are left in the end okay and then I'm going to place two sets of double crochet together with the last stitch and chain one and repeat the same pattern so here I finished making row 17 row 18 is in continue so 19 20 21 and 22 that would make a total of six rows right from row 17 to row 22 following the same pattern so i'll be seeing you in the end of row 22 so here i am in the end of row 22 now chain one 
done your work now for row 23 place one double crochet into the same stitch place one double crochet into each and every stitch till the end of the row and you will have eight stitches in total now place a slip stitch into this last stitch where I just placed the double crochet the last double crochet into the same stitch place a slip stitch we have eight double crochet stitches in total now fast enough now do the exactly same thing of repeating row 17 to row 22 for the other side into the same stitch marker stitch attach your yarn and chain one so it's completely the same pattern that you have to repeat that we did for this side for so the same pattern is to be repeated from row 17 to row 23 for this side also so once you have worked with the sides now again lay down the dress and make sure the right side of the dress i mean to say the correct side or the side that is meant to be out okay so the right side of the dress passes you the neckline is on your side so it's the back side of the neckline and my dress is on the right side the back side of the neckline is passing me so if i hold my stitch this way then the loops on the right side of the dress is the big loop for me so i hope you are getting it see these are the stitches and for me the loop on the big sorry uh, the loop on the right side of the dress is the back loop for me so i'll just join my white yarn back into the big loop of my very fast stitch like this chain 4 place one treble crochet into each of the next 22 stitches so in total if you we count this as my first treble crochet this chain 4 then in total place 23 treble crosses into each of the next stitches working only into the back loops so yarn over twice let me show you yarn over twice and slip hook into the back loop of the next stitch and make sure you are working over this yarn end also okay like this and pull off a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so this is how i placed my second treble crochet so this chain four is counted as my first treble crochet second treble crochet so starting from this first chain four it's one two and count off to 23 and place one treble crochet into the big loops of the stitches and then i'll say what to do next so once you have placed 23 treble crosses now place the following stitches double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch slip stitch into the next two stitches and do the next also then half double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next so working into the back loops only place this following stitches and then start placing treble crochet right from the next stitch into the back loop also till the end so you will have 23 stitches in total to place the treble crochet make sure you are placing each of the stitches only into the back loops now once you have placed your last treble crochet now chain 4 
done your work so skip the next stitch and into the next place of slip stitch chain 4 skip the next stitch and into the next place of slip stitch repeat this pattern for 11 times so starting from this very fast so it's one two and if you come from this very fast you must have 11 of this so from the very beginning if you start counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay now slip stitch into each of the next six stitches So once you have slip stitched into 6 stitches, now chain 4, skip the next stitch and the slip stitch into the next. So exactly the same thing that we did for this side. So continue placing till the end of the row. So I slip stitch here into the turning chain in the end and fasten off. And now to give a good finishing on the neckline, I'm going to place a slip stitch. So we work into one loop. So we still have another loop here. So working onto those loops, I'm going to place slip stitch into every loop. So chain one. Place a slip stitch into the next stitch, working into only one loop. into the next placing a slip stitch and into the next so keep on placing a slip stitch till the end of the row so here i am very close to the end of this row and i'm left with two more slip stitches and now here into the last that's it <laughs> now fast enough here's how it looks get your favorite button or you can even go for a crochet flower anything that you feel good and attach it here so i guess it looks more beautiful right yeah this one so I'll go for this so one button here in the middle just for because it looks beautiful then one button to be here so go for the plain button like this so if you are using this type of buttons I don't know but maybe the child wouldn't be comfortable for this so get a simple one and attach it here inside here and you can even use this thread to sew the button if you wish otherwise just wave in this end and use uh, other thread or yarn to sew the button and one more button you have to use it so it's the back side right go down and attach it here in between the third and fourth double crochet attach here okay and then i'll say what to do next so once you are done with everything now grab any acrylic yarn so i prefer acrylic because they are stretchy <laughs> okay so it should be white or the color that your color is now i'm so here you see i have attached the button here this side on this white row and on the other side to make the space for the button i'm going to attach my yarn around the post of this second double crochet so skip this and into this second double crochet attach the yarn and place chain 8 
and place a slip stitch back into or around the post of the same stitch fast enough so this is the button hole acrylic yarn is stretchy so it goes well inside and here you go it's a good finishing of the back side too i hope you love the tutorial of this beautiful romper isn't it super easy and fast too so if you ask me about this uh, yoke design then i would say it's really something that i love because first of all it keeps a, a freely impression and secondly also it seems lacy right and then the whole body is just as simple to work with so i hope you love this tutorial see you in my next video till then goodbye